Because when we talk about work salvation, the standard in work salvation is keeping all the law, isn't it? And we read here in James 2 verse 8, If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself, ye do well. But if ye have respect to persons, ye commit sin and are convinced of the law as transgressors. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. For he that said, do not commit adultery, said also, do not kill. Now if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. So we know Romans 3.23 says, you know, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So the standard when it comes to work salvation is sinless, perfection. You know, you have to keep all the works. And the question I sort of ask, well, if that's the standard before you get saved, because well, people will say, well, you, you know, you, you, yeah, okay, the, the standard for salvation is, is keeping all the law. But, you know, you've got to divide between, you know, what comes before salvation and what comes after salvation. But then, you know, I think to myself, well, if the standard of works is perfection, why would that standard then change after salvation? You know, why would it, why would it be, okay, you have to keep all the law in order to be saved, but once you're saved, now you can use works as a standard a lower standard than perfection. How does that even make sense? How does the standard of works change from before salvation and after salvation? I don't know whether I'm making sense there. You know, they say, well, this is what you have to do to know that you're saved, but, but this is the standard of works that you need to know that you're, you're right with God and that you have um, eternal life. Why, why would that standard be different depending on whether you're before salvation or after, after salvation? I mean, you have to keep the works of the Lord to have these blessings and this, um, this thing apply to you. Uh, so... We see there in James that if you offend in one point, you've come short, you've, you've sinned and you've come short of the glory of God. And why would that standard change before and after salvation? You know, and this is what happens when people base uh, anything on works. Because when you base anything on works, what happens when people do that is they set an arbitrary bar. Because in the Bible, when you see a standard of works, it's always keeping all the works of the law. So if you are going to sort of justify anything by works, you would have to then set the bar low enough so that you get over it. Because you're not going to set a standard that condemns yourself. I mean, if you say, well, you know, to, to show that you have faith and that you're saved, you have to be in church. I mean, if you're not in church, you're not going to have that standard. You're going to have some other standard, like reading your Bible or something like that. So, and, and for, for those of us, you know, even amongst our circle, you know, and that try to show that, you know, the evidence of faith or the evidence that you're saved is by some kind of works, they're just setting that bar a little bit higher than everyone else. They just make it soul winning, reading your Bible prayer. But, you know, what about loving God with all your heart, mind, soul and strength? What about, you know, loving your neighbour as yourself, which, you know, none of us do perfectly. How could we possibly uh, set a standard of works in order to show whether or not we believe? So, you know, those that sort of say, well, there's got to be a, 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 you know, they'll say, well, if you're really saved, there'll be a change in your lifestyle. And you hear that preached in churches. And generally, you know, people will say amen in church because they're the ones that have changed their lifestyle. They're in church and they've made a change. So then they're like, yeah, like I've made a change. I know that I'm saved. But then, you know, what about the people that don't feel that they've changed? You know, they, they're sort of, um, you know, made to look to their works for, um, for, for assurance. But it really just depends on your humility because I think, you know, all of us have sin in our life and it really is just making you think, well, are you focusing on the works in your life or are you focusing on the sin? Because if you focus on the sin in your life, you may start to think, well, I'm not actually doing the works that I should be doing in order to have this assurance that everyone talks about when it comes to, you know, assuring your faith or assuring your salvation by works.